Welcome back to the Creature Plays Death Stranding Director's Cut. I went, I got some supplies, did some things of that nature. Uh, got some ladders and some extra blood bits. And uh, we're going to see uh, if we can make our way into the next stage. Oh, wait. Uh, orders. Uh, for some reason, why is that locked? Why is that locked? I... Huh. Alright, well, I think the last thing I was told is I've got to find my way across the tar. So, uh, if this is where I am, we're going to walk over here. Because there's the goal, right? So, we're going to come out to this promontory. And uh, there is a secret to getting across. You may already know what that secret is, but uh, for right now... We are going to make our way. I've got a pretty good load of stuff. I'm not even sure I can carry it with me, but I am going to try. Ooh, climbing anchors level 2. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. May or may not use them, but we'll see. But I'm a little curious. What happens if I run and jump off of that into the lake? You know? Oh gosh, if I'm ever going to find out, I have to find out now, right? So let's, let's do it. I want to just see... The only go. way west is through that. To make matters worse, I don't believe your PCC is capable of building anything that will get you across. There must be a way. There is. We can't give up. Not with what's at stake. We'll see if we can't think of something here. But considering everything you've been through, I wouldn't be surprised if you've already got a few ideas of your own. Why well, do? Because I have done this before. Now, I really want to jump off of that. But first thing I want to do is kind of... No, I'm going to jump off that. I just want to see what happens. <laughs> and... I didn't think it would work that way. Okay, I'm, I'm really surprised, to be honest. All right, we are going to make our way out of this. I really didn't expect it. Were, I thought I would sink, but, uh, all right, that's good. That is good, because that gives me an opportunity to walk down where I kind of wanted to in the first place. Anyhow. And, uh, things probably get kind of hairy, if I recall correctly. So, ooh, hey, there's a launcher there. I might want to use that launcher. We'll see. We will see. Look at that. Hey there. No, not... I want to... Alright, good. We are going to experience some ETs here pretty doggone quick. Oh, hey, it's a... PCC. I don't think I'm going to need that. And... Is this... Oh, I didn't realize it would cross over like that. Okay. Uh, I got a generator ruin. Yeah. All right. Now, this is where stuff can happen. Here's what's going to happen. I am going to let one of them grab me. But, not before wreaking just a little bit of havoc. Because I can. Yep, there's another one. I'm just going to go ahead and do some of this, because I can. And, uh, I know. I know we're going to have no real way of getting across to tell one of them grabs me, right? So... All right. Get in there. I know there's going to be more, and that's okay. I just want to see what happens if I do, uh, shall I say, harvest these guys? Because... Gosh, that uh, coupling is so overpowered. It really is. And deliciously so. I 
Should be able to see him. There we go. Oh, it's a BB. All right. All right. Very good. Now, here is my question. Can I launch some stuff? Over. Now, carried on my back, I have a rocket launcher. And on the carrier, I have some blood bags. I don't know if I'm going to really need them all, but I do want to try this. So, we are going to try... You know, because I'd rather not have to be messing with the carrier right now. Place that and that in the catapult. Let's see if I can send all of that over. Can I make it? I don't know if I'm going to make it. No, it's going to stop somewhere in the middle. Doggone it. Oh, I think I broke it all anyhow. <laughs> well, it's okay. It's time to let what's about to happen happen. And what is on my person is going to really matter. So... Let's stop delaying the inevitable. I need to let one of these guys grab me. Yeah. Let's just hold on to my, my grip there. Hey, I'm going to want some of that back. Can I have... There he goes. All right. Now grab. And, and away we go. Now, once I'm out here in the guck, you got to start... Oh, look at these. These are bigger BTs than I've ever seen before. Look at those. Got to make my way from here to here. So this is how we're going to do it. Not by fighting these BTs, but by riding the buildings. Backpack cover is almost ruined. I don't know why, but... All right. Making my way across. And let's see. Can I easily... Well, that one looks like it's about ready to sink. So let me see here. I would have ever thought of that. Yep. Well done, Sam. With you out there giving it your all, there's hope for us yet. Absolutely. Find a way across the tar belt. That's exactly what I'm doing. Building by building, since they jump up out of the tar like this. Good. We are making... Whoops, progress. Ha. All right. How much further do we got to go? We're about halfway there. Um. All right, jump across here. And there. I kind of want to attack a couple of these BTs, but nothing good comes of it, really, so... Let me check this map one more time. Okay, I got to get back on target. Which way am I going? That way, okay. All right. All 
right, hold on. Progress is being made. All right, climb this. Come on. There we go. Yeah. One of those, one of those whales over there. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm sorry, Lou. Come on. I don't know what that yellow there is, that Pyrelium, but... Sounds like chaos, but just keep running. They cannot dive into you while you're on the building, as far as I know. Come on, fine, there we go. All right, there we go. Oh, it's Amelie. Amelie, hi. There she is. Wait a minute, why am I sinking? Amelie, hold on. Why are you backing up? Oh. This is not what Sam would expect after coming all of this way. What do you suppose? Beautiful screenshot there. Okay. So what has happened? We'll find out. We made our way across. Okay. Let's resume. Okay. This is not what we would have expected, is it? It's hard to know. I mean, this game is so weird. It's it's hard to know how to comment about some of what we're seeing here. But at this point, she's leading him out into the seam rather than the beach, if my understanding is correct. And uh, it's time for Sam to repatriate. And he'll repatriate, I think, on the ground where he's supposed to be, so. Yeah. But there's my supplies. So we'll see if that works out as desired. But that was Sam's way of getting across the water, I guess, so... Well, he's made it. Yeah. Now you can grab those sometimes. Oh, hi, Higgs. scare the poor girl away, do you? I'm thinking about it. She's in there. I can smell her. 
Of course, I wouldn't know for sure if it wasn't for you and your wonderful network. <laughs> Bless your heart. And thank you kindly. nearby. Tell you what, what say we make it a race? Hmm? Whoever wins gets to usher in the end of days. Nothing like the eve of extinction bring focus to the mind. Makes folks honest. There'll be no need for masks soon. I wonder, when you look death in her eye, in her eye, will you blink? Oh, Peter, what a disgusting fellow. Episode 9. Pigs. Welcome to the episode. Still with me, Sam? Even now, our way forward, our way to save Emily, is the same as always. Your first priority is to get the local distro center on the network. Until it's complete and everybody's connected, Higgs won't find it easy to get to Emily. She should be safe. So take your time and do it right. I did. Indeed. Okay, so I lost a bunch of my cargo. Guess I'm not getting that back. That's just the way it is. It is... Somewhere... I can't zoom out anymore. Somewhere over here. But uh, we made it across, and that was the goal. Okay, now... Oh, hey, look, I might need these guys. About to have some tough times. So. There we go. There we go. Very good. Well, I guess if there's no other. No other stuff missing out here, right? Now, I see a memory chip. I think that's going to become quite important, don't you? So let's... We're going to make our way over to it quick. And one of the things I did do, and I did it offline, did it for a reason offline, because it would be long for us. I went around and... Um, actually, I used the map to scout and pick up a bunch of the memory chips, just uh, trying to uh, get the 100% on this. right now I get this one and then we're gonna go turn on there we go got that one and we will go turn on this now I've only got a couple of memory chips left there's one let's see where are they there is two more on this island or on this little section I know there is one that is only accessible after this episode Higgs 
Episode 9 is completed. And then... Here we go. Yeah. What's the hold up, Sam? Connect your Cupid to the terminal and bring the site online. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We hear you. We will do that. What I want to know is, can I rest before doing that? I... No. B is turned off. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Hmm. Here's what's going to happen. I want a cargo, and I want a sort. And that means, attached to my suit, I've got the letters. And I'm going to attach that one to the one spot. I don't have it. I, I know I'm going to need the ladders. I'm probably going to need some other stuff as well. But here we go. This is a momentous occasion. The network will be complete. And then, of course, the downfall of human society will be possible. But that's not what we're going to aim for. Okay. Well, we got it hooked up. So now that the Western region is online. Got it. Distro Center north of Edgenot City has joined the UCA. North? Wait a minute. That was west. Anyhow. Bridges HQ has provided design data for remote detonation grenade launchers. Might be handy. Got some stuff online. Some warnings of some BTs. We're going to have to make our way across this arena. Okay. Good deal. Good work, Sam. Thank you. You've made it as far as Bridges 1 ever did. We never pushed further west. Frankly, it's a miracle we kept that distro center running. Anyway, you're almost at Edgenot City. Your final destination, where Amelie should be waiting. Smile, Sam. Only one more not to go. One last time to put that Cupid to use. Though you'll need another component to finish the job. Regardless, the nationwide network will serve as your ticket home. Just bear in mind that by bringing Edge now online, you'll likely be revealing Emily's location to Higgs. Oh, I don't you'll think need that's to a get problem. to her before he does. Head to your private room and get your gear sorted. When you're ready to go, we'll give you what you need. Make sure not to leave the distro center without taking the order. Aha. Uh -huh. Fair enough. Oh. Well, I guess I get to, uh... To do this. Well. Who knew it was going to be that easy, right? Sam? Are you there? Amelie. Can you hear me? Sam? Over here, Amelie. The network's nearly complete. Just one more knot to go. And then America will be whole again. Did I ever tell you my real name? I wanted to. It's Amerigo. After Amerigo Vespucci, the man who discovered the continent. I thought it was Columbus. Except Amerigo was full of it. He lied. America is a lie. Amelie. I'm on the beach, Sam. Our beach. The one where I was born. Higgs will never find me here. He can't. So don't worry. Get the last Cupid to Edge Knot City and finish what we started. I'll meet you in your room at the distro center when it's all over. There's something you need to know, Sam. I've kept things from you. Worn a mask for the longest time. Everything Higgs said about me is true. I could end it all. Us. Mankind. Extinction. That's what I am. How does that even mean? But it's not what I want to be. All I want is for you and me and everyone in this world to be whole. <gasps> Sam. Promise 
you'll stop me. Don't let me end it all. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Amelie? Amelie! Promise you'll stop me. Don't let me end it all. Amelie finally revealed that she herself is an extinction entity. In the uh, lore of the game, she's the sixth of the extinction entities. The five primary mass extinctions across the Earth were caused by the lore of the game by individual extinction entities that initiated the full wiping out, essentially, of the lifespan. But that allowed, and again, uh, each of the uh, bursts in evolutionary transition. So it's a really a fascinating look into uh, ideology. It's a fascinating look into philosophy. It's a fascinating look into some of those things. And and Sam is facing a bit of a conundrum. He doesn't understand exactly what's going on. He needs a shower. But uh, at the same time, he doesn't understand what's going on. But he also is trying to figure out what she wants. When she said, don't let me end it all. And I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to clean up. We're going to get ready. And we are going to do the very best we can to stop her but that is something that we are going to do the next time thank you so much for joining me across the tar belt let's take on capital that city